Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Nia Handcrafted. I'm a candle and soap maker in the Pacific Northwest and I have a box of fragrance oils that is new to me from Nature's Garden Fragrance Oils and I thought that I would give you my opinion but to kind of step it up a notch, I, I ordered the five top fragrances from Alan at Earthglow. Alan's a friend of mine but also Alan and I have very similar scent profiles and the kind of fragrances that we like. They're not spot on. I think I've sent him some fragrances that maybe weren't his favorite, but some that he really liked. And so I feel that I can trust his honest opinion when it comes to fragrance oils. Um, and I ordered his top five with the exception of one. I'm going to go through them and uh, give you my honest opinion just out of the bottle. And then hopefully a little bit later, I'll get him into some product and then let you know what I think. And before we get started, if you don't mind just hitting the like button and then following us along by hitting subscribe so that you can be alerted when we have new content out there. I'm going to try and go in order of where I saw or what I saw that he reviewed first. I make fun of him for always, um, for never owning like a box cutter and I sent him one, but truth be told, I don't have one either. So let's see here. I want to go in order of what he did in his video first. And I'll also give like a full disclosure. I usually order 16 ounce bottles, but I ordered four ounce um, because some of them were out of the scent family that I don't really have. And some of them I was just really not sure about. And I'm, I'm okay with getting another one. Um, one thing I wasn't sure because I've been gifted some fragrance oils before if this was something that was unique to nature's garden and now that I know that they have the little plastic and I guess that's to prevent spillage. All right. Some of them I did get the 16 ounces of. Okay. I prefer a little bit more paper packaging but this is not too bad. I'll just reuse this as a bin liner. Okay. Actually, one kind of that'll just get out of the way. <laughs> I went ahead and ordered Cracklin' Birch and I ordered five pounds of it because I um, have smelled this one before. I've used Cracklin' Birch from Midwest Fragrance Company and Flaming Candle and I feel like they're all very good fragrances. I love all of them. People really think about lavender or sage as a relaxing candle smell. And for me, like anything that smells like woods or being outside is something that I really love. So I was gifted some Cracklin Birch um, by Todd of Plant Based Candles, who also does coconut wax and worth a follow over on Instagram if you feel like it. And um, so I already knew that I loved it um, and it had been out of stock for a good long while. So I ordered five pounds of it. I love Cracklin Birch. Um, it's my Birch Please in my activated charcoal soap. And I call it Cabin for One. And it's pretty rare that I leave a fragrance alone. Like I blend them a lot. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that, but it is really nice when I'm remaking these and I don't have to think about percentages um, and I can just pour it straight out of the bottle. So I want to start with chocolate and amber. Now I know that Alan talks about chocolate scents as being like earwax type <laughs> smelling. And um, I could see that because a lot of kids things um, tend to really, to me, smell like rubbery um, when they want to smell like chocolate. So I'm used to that. Oh, Wow. Okay, I was not expecting this. The chocolate notes are not the, what I'm getting first out of the bottle. And that might of course be different in wax. That is really nice. Um, it does smell like a luxury one. I was thinking before that maybe this chocolate is something that I might mix with something like raspberry or rose for a Valentine's day type candle. I'm curious to see what this smells like, but it really does smell like a really nice dessert place. Um, you could do a lot with this. It's not too sweet um, and it does not smell like earwax. So, okay, Alan. Okay, this is editing Nia. And I just wanna say that I had a little bit of the chocolate and amber on my wrist and it smells delicious. Um, it smells like a really nice and sensual perfume. I think that it might do really, really well in bath products or leave-on products like a body butter. So I'm really curious to try that out. Um, I should mention that the only other real chocolate fragrance that I've smelled that I liked was dark chocolate orange from Brambleberry, which worked really well in a coffee and brown sugar scrub. Um, so that might also be a good way to use it. 
Um, it does smell more vanilla-y, but just really not fake um, and more like a really nice perfume. So Helen, I give this one a really good score and I probably would rank it higher than I do it a little bit later in the video. So, but back to Pasnia. The second one that um, Alan had reviewed was Floral Musk, and they did not have that in stock. So I got another one that I was curious about, this Capri Olivo. That's very clean smelling, very fresh. Alan, I think you need to try this one. It's fresh, it's a little bit lemony. It really does smell like what you would expect a nice Mediterranean spa-like candle to smell like. Wish I had gotten the 16 ounce of that one. So, okay, so there's that one. Cashmere type. Um, I have cashmere plum um, from Candle Science and I've smelled cocoa butter cashmere and they're both okay. Um, they're not ones that I'm just like super over the moon about, but I do like notes of cashmere in some perfumes and candles. So let's see how this goes. This is a no. I think, I know that Alan said that this was polarizing. It smells like hotel soap. Um, it is a pass for me. I, I uh, This is why the four ounce bottle was okay in this one. Although the other two are, are good. Black, linen, and amber. I don't really like things with powdery scents. So we'll see how this does. It does smell like clean laundry. It's not too powdery. I personally wouldn't burn it in my house, but every once in a while I get somebody that asks for a scent like this, that they just want something like clean cotton. So I think that if you want something like that in your line, then this, this is something that you could have. This is probably something that I would just test out and do in some small tins and then sell them in the summer and see how they do. And the last one was um, Amber Waters. Ellen said that it was a nice unisex front and very sensual. So let's see how it goes. That is nice. This makes me think of Dark Amber and Rosewood by Midwest, which is one of my bestseller body butters. People really tend to love that. What am I getting first? So it's called Amber Waters. It is not amber heavy. Like that's not the first, not like an Egyptian amber. That's not what I'm getting immediately. Um, like a little bit of like mahogany. Um, I do feel like this is a nice unisex fragrance. Yeah, this, is, this just smells like somebody that is on a date and really like put attention into how they wanted to present themselves. So, and like I say, that is a nice unisex fragrance. Um, it reminds me a lot of dark amber and rosewood. And I sell that I think equally to masculine and femme presenting people. So that's a really good one. And I'll just um, go through a couple of the other ones that I have. I have a, I bought clove. I have bought this one from Wholesale Supplies Plus, but since they had free shipping, I thought I would try it from here. And that's a really good clove. I'd say um, pretty darn close to the Wholesale Supplies Plus one. Cinnamon Sticks, which is one of the ones that I use in my Spark Intention Candle. Cinnamon can sometimes be helpful for people that need to concentrate. That does smell like cinnamon. That's it's, I will say, like, these are very, um, they're not chemically. Um, a lot of times when I smell cinnamon fragrances, they smell like Red Hots and that's not what I'm going for. It really does smell like my spice cabinet. So that's a that's one that I would say if you're looking for something that's a genuine cinnamon, that's one worth trying. Grapefruit and Ruby Red. This is one that I really wanted to try out um, because it's, it's gonna be part of my confidence candle that's coming out soon. And that is a grapefruit. It's a really strong grapefruit. I um, I like citrus. This is kind of overpowering, but it's fine for what I need. I feel like this is going to throw really well because I'm going to be blending it. I already have a plan for blending. Um, overall, I am really grateful that I listened to Alan's recommendations. Um, my favorite probably of all of these actually is the Capri Olivo, <laughs> the one that I just kind of picked instead of Floral Musk. That one is a really nice and clean one, probably followed by Amber Waters. Um, then let's see. Then the chocolate and amber, then the black linen and amber. Alan, I see you with this amber. There's a lot of amber happening, although I really like that note, so it's fine. And then the last one is cashmere type. The um, 
Cracklin Birch is kind of a cheat because I already knew that I loved this fragrance. Um, and then the cinnamon sticks and clove, if you're in need of one, I think that that's a great one to try. So, so my overall thoughts on Nature's Garden was I bought them because there was a free shipping sale. I think that it was great. A lot of Kindle supply companies didn't have any kind of real major sale. Um, that happened over Black Friday or Cyber Monday and I had been wanting to try Nature's Garden so I was really looking forward to it. They got my stuff to me really fast because there were other places that I had ordered from that hadn't even had any sales and it took like two weeks for them to get here. So I was really pleased by the speed of their order. Where are they coming to me from? They're coming from Ohio. So from Ohio to Oregon. Shouldn't have been like super fast but it was relatively quick. I'm really curious about that chocolate and amber. I um, I know that Alan said that it didn't throw as well in 464. I use a little bit of 444 soy in my coconut wax blend. And I found that I get a little bit better of a throw in that wax than I did in 464. And so I am gonna give it a shot and then see what it is. I really feel like this could use some blending. It's really just nice and gentle by itself, almost vanilla-y. Um, I don't know what I can do to make the scent stronger, but I have a big bottle, so I have room, some room for testing. This Cracklin Birch, transportive, so relaxing. I love this. Um, like I say, it's, a, it's very close to the Midwest and the Flaming Candle one, so you could totally go there, but I'm super happy that I got it with free shipping and that I have a stock to last me a while. These opinions of fragrances, fragrances are really unique to us as a person and our memory and experiences and our own limbic system that we are bringing into the play. You might hate these fragrances. I have been down that road of watching a fragrance oil review and buying a fragrance oil that I thought smelled like vomit. It was blueberry pancakes by the flaming candle and the person was raving about it. I hated that candle. I couldn't even bear to like give them away because I thought they smelled so bad. Um, it's it really did I mean it was bad so um that would be I love the flaming candle in general but that one just didn't mix so like you know that's just to show you that sometimes I can love a fragrance and you can hate it um I think that these are excellent recommendations even though they might not necessarily be my favorite they are really good for a classic line and a luxury line and um I'm gonna get some of these in products and play with them and then see how it goes but thank you so much for watching thank you Alan for sharing your opinion as always you are valued. And if you're watching us today, you are valued. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please do remember to like and subscribe the video so that we can grow and that you can be along for the journey. Thank you so much. Bye.